my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna look at my chemical romance and I'm gonna share some tips and tricks how to succeed with this song, how to work out the song. Of course a small tutorial will never replace a full vocal lesson so if you're looking for a vocal lesson head over to tanyalevyvocalstudio.com make yourself a little Christmas gift or maybe you want to surprise someone with a lovely Christmas gift and offer them a vocal lesson or maybe you want to uh, surprise your parents uh, at Christmas and then sing a little bit a special song for them so head over to tandyvocalstudio.com and then look and book a vocal lesson so what makes my chemical romance so difficult and that's basically what I would say is this jumps in between first of all the song is very very high especially for men uh, that like to sing that song but also if you're a contra alto that song can be high for you but because of this really precise clear executed high notes that can be sometimes a struggle especially people are tensing up um, on those high registers when they start to bell they feel like oh my god my uh, false vocal folds engage I'm tensing up here it's not really a healthy and clear production going on now I really really highly suggest you to look at that video with my student because he's singing Helena by my chemical Romans and he struggles with the chorus by using too much air by pushing too much air through and therefore not really creating a clear note which makes it difficult to execute those high notes also, we have done an exercise on Nay Nay Nay, which really, really helped him out to get a little bit more confident in that really high note and to sing a little bit more clear. So don't go and push through a lot of air. That's going to make the difference. But we're going to tackle that one in a second. Long ago, just like the horse, you died again again. Of course for me the song is extremely low and out of my register even though that I'm a contra alto and you know as a female I can still hit somehow those notes but what we have here is we have a lot of air pushing through we have a lot of air going on we almost have it whisper so if you are if you're not if you cannot reach the low notes for any reason then try to whisper it even though it's not the healthy way so we have whispering going on we have vocal fry we have a lot of airy singing going on really depends on also how you want to execute it but now that's the interesting factor in a second that whole thing will gonna change in the next phrase burning on because they are directly going into a clear execution so we have a clear onset here they're sustaining beautifully the phrases don't try to get flat by the end of the phrases, okay? Try to sustain with power those phrases. Now let me give you an example. what I have at here was a little bit of vibrato here and there. Um, my chemical romance is not doing that. As far as I can remember, they executed pr pretty clear. So they really sing that note and then they sing it all along pretty clear till the end. Now what I don't want you to do here now is losing the energy by the end of the phrase because that happens the most here with those songs especially is that people cannot sustain this intense production. This really, oh, we're jumping right now. So it's difficult for people to sustain those notes till the end because they feel like they give too much in the beginning and they cannot hold those phrases. So it kind of like gets flat in the end. So try to hold this. I'm going to give you an example. From every heart you break, I'm sustaining and play, you stay over. don't get flat in the end. Also, what we have with my chemical romance is 
quite a melody that is easy because you are holding the you have those notes pretty clear there I've been holding on tonight so you can't make any mistakes it's not so confusing uh, like maybe another R&B song Etta James you have it clear forward so make sure that if you have difficulties in the beginning of seeing those phrases make sure that you at least hold it burning on just like a match you start to incinerate the lies make, your make yourself first clear what are there what are there for notes and then once you tackle the notes once you're not flat you can't hold and sing those notes up now the next step is the tackling a chorus that we have here um, and of course you know from my uh, my channel there are different ways that you can execute it with nay 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 nya or na 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 there are different kind of ways and there are different exercises for execu executing it really important is that you do a solid workout because we are really having an in intense vocal production going on here we are uh, speaking about belting we are using twang also especially um, for beginners there's no kind yeah so really really make sure that you prepare yourself at least now what I don't want you to do is what Ray done my student well, what's the What he's done is he pushed a lot of air through. Man, that hurted me so much just right now. So don't go and blast out those notes. We don't want to do that. It's actually the quite opposite. If we are thinking about an intense vocal production, we don't want to put a lot of 100%. Um, it's we don't want to overdo it because that's what's gonna hurt and harm the voice. Now one thing you know is the nay 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 exercise that you can do um, but I want to introduce a different one is that la 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 and you probably have seen it also somewhere but that's the first time we're going to introduce it on my channel la, 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 la. and try to play around a little bit to get that placement of that twang to be a little bit more having those nasal resonators inside of la almost like a nya 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 la 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 don't try to push in a lot of air because that's gonna hurt and also we don't want you to get tense up here so there's no tension going on on the vocal folds now it is a trial and error especially if you don't have someone there because you're alone right now doing it um, so try to find this kind of ringy placement um, if you feel that you want to bring your tongue out a little bit you can also do that because the tongue is very very thick always rolls in the back doesn't really create a lot of space okay let's go into la, 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 la. you to do is I want you to imply this exercise on that particular chorus if you feel that the song is too high for you and too hard at the moment if you need to work on your register it's also a good exercise but there are different exercises that you can do to work particularly on your register if you need that one um, don't go for, don't go for the song if it's just too high for you yeah it's gonna hurt your voice and you need instruction la, la, la. tutorial with some tips and tricks on how to go and work a little bit on that song of course like I said before we'll never give justice to a full vocal lesson that's just eight minutes of trying to give some helpful suggestions but there's so much more to say and let me down, know in the comment section what is your favorite uh, song by my chemical romance my favorite is I'm not okay because I think like yeah we love that song here in the studio and don't forget to subscribe to this channel put a notification on and I see you in my next video big kisses from the humid Singapore Mwah.